Good morning. We are on number 13. Um, we've got a block compressing to spring. It spits it out. It's on a rough surface, so eventually it slows down. And we're wondering how far does it go before it stops. This has a lot of pieces, but we can do it. They wouldn't give us a problem that can't be solved. So um, let's figure out how far it goes. So the initial velocity, it's tempting to say zero because it starts here, but I want to start um, at this moment here, right where the spring lets go. That's the initial velocity. We can calculate that um, using the law of conservation of energy. But the final velocity is zero. After it uses up all um, that energy, all that energy gets converted to thermal through the friction. Um, so the final velocity will be zero. Um, how fast does that happen? We don't know, but we can calculate it. Um, how long does it take? We don't know, and we don't care. How far does it go? That is the big question. So um, we don't have enough to start on our kinematics equations yet. Um, to solve one of these, you need at least three numbers in order to solve for a fourth. So let's get us some numbers. So let's, um, let me do this. No, yeah, I'm gonna move my face. Okay, um, so let's do some energy conservation. So when we are all squished, and we're at rest, that is all spring potential energy. And they said we have four joules of that. And then it's gonna spit it out and be all kinetic energy. There's the moment where the spring just barely lets go. That's the fastest that thing's ever gonna be. And um, that's where we are choosing to take a snapshot and say, this is the beginning. Okay, because we're clever about our snapshots. All right, that's a good handy spot. Um, so that'll be our kinetic energy, and that equals one-half mv squared. So four equals one-half. Um, the mass is 0.2 velocity squared. So this is one equation with one unknown. We can solve this. So I'm going to divide by 0.5 to get that over this. That means, you know what, I could do it in my head. Okay, I was, I was pretty sure it was 8, but I want to sure. Then we divide by 0.2 take the square root, that velocity is 6.3. V equals 6.3, uh, 6.32. Let's keep it accurate, meters per second. Okay, so that's our initial velocity, woo! So we just need one more number, and then we're good. So we can try to figure out the time or the acceleration. Uh, I'm gonna find the acceleration. So we know F equals MA. Okay, so the sum of the forces um, in the direction of the acceleration equals mass times acceleration. So let's do a free body. Our block here, we have mg down. We have normal force up. And if it's going to the right, that means we've got friction to the left. Okay, so the only one of those that's in the direction of motion is friction. So we got friction equals m times a. Um, friction, there's a formula for that. It's mu normal. So mu times the normal force equals ma. Um, mu they gave us, it's a number, it's 0.3. Uh, the normal force, there's not a formula for normal, but if we're on a flat surface and we're not sinking in and we're not floating up, the normal and gravity have to balance. So this in this situation, the normal equals mg. So mu mg equals ma. Well, m's on both sides. Um, so mu times gravity equals acceleration. So the mu is 0.3, gravity is 9.8, equals our acceleration, which is... 2.94. Okay, and this is where we have to be really careful. We can't say positive 2.94 because we're not speeding up. Friction's slowing us down. It's using work to take energy out of our system. Okay, so this is negative 2.94. We're slowing down. The spring let go, and now it's going slower, slower, slower as friction slows us down. So the acceleration is negative 2.94. So we have three numbers. We can find a fourth. We're ready. Okay, I'm gonna move my face. Here we go. Okay. Um, we've got. Oh, we gotta pick an equation. Okay, so we don't have time, and we don't care about time. So that means we use the squared e one. Okay, so we've got the final squared equals initial velocity squared plus two a x. Okay, so final velocity is zero. 
initial 6.32, a is negative 2.94, and x is just x. Okay, so I'm going to move this over here and go, where's my pen? Wait for the internet. Okay, so I'm at my parents' house and the internet's like real slow. Okay, so let's do 6.32 times 6.32. So that's 39.94. Okay, so 39, 30, oh my goodness. 39.94. We're gonna make it negative because we swung it over. Um, so two times 2.94, that's 5.88. They're both negative, which means we can multiply both sides by negative one and make them both positive. I hate negative numbers, they bother me. Um, and maybe my smudges bother you. No word. Why didn't you say something? Okay, so 39.94 divided by 5.88. So we get 6.79. Oh my goodness, this pin. Mornings are not a good time to make these. The internet's not warmed up yet, I guess. 6.79 meters. Nope. Meters. I was about to say meters per second, but that's how far do we go? So, D. Final answer.